What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you enjoyed this video, if you find it useful, make sure that you like it, subscribe to the channel, and check the links in the description. With that being said, let's get right into it. Let's talk about Discover and Social Finance, SoFi. And let's first talk about the interest rate, of course. Discover offers a 4.3% right now. SoFi offers a 4.5%. However, I do want to mention that SoFi comes with a few caveats. There's a few hidden requirements that they don't tell you right away. And we're going to be uncovering those here in today's video. Now, let's talk about account bonuses. We all like to have account bonuses when it comes to opening a new account. If you're a new customer, hey, give me a welcome bonus. Tell me that I'm welcome here. Give me some good news. Give me some free money. Discover offers you a $200 bonus if you have a $25,000 deposit. However, let's just say that you don't have 25 grand. Well, they lowered the standard here when they say, hey, I'll give you a hundred and fifty thousand, a hundred and fifty thousand. That'd be nice. A one hundred and fifty dollar bonus if you give me fifteen thousand dollars and put it into your savings account. If you do not put this much money in your savings account when you open it, then pretty much you can say goodbye to the bonus. Now, on the other hand, SoFi offers, if you sign up with a link below, they offer up to a $275 sign up bonus. You get $50 if you set up direct deposit of $1,000 or $5,000 in your account. If you have a direct deposit of $5,000 or more, then you do get the $250. Here's the tricky part with SoFi. When you open a high yield savings account, it automatically opens a checking account. And in order for you to get this high APY, you have to set up your direct deposit. That's one of the requirements that they have. If you don't set up your direct deposit, then you do not qualify for the APY they advertise. Now, that's definitely not the case with Discover. With Discover, it is what it is. You get the advertised interest rate, and that's personally something that I like. Who doesn't like to be told upfront what to expect? Tell me in the comments if this is something that you like or that you do not like. All right, now when it comes to FDIC insurance, very important. You do not wanna bank with an organization that is not FDIC insured. And believe me, there are some banks that are not FDIC insured. Now Discover offers you an insurance of $250,000 or less. SoFi also does the same thing. It covers you up to 250K. In fact, they take the FDIC insurance a step further and they offer you a $2 million FDIC insured money. And they do this by using a network of banks. You give them the $2 million, they take the money and they distribute it amongst five, six, seven, ten 10 different banks, however much money you have. And all those little banks, they also FDIC insured. So they can tell you, hey, give me $2 million and I can, I can guarantee you FDIC insurance after that much. Personally, I want to say that's a big plus if you have more than $500,000, $700,000. So it's very, very nice feature. When it comes to minimum deposit and maintenance fees, I love not getting charged for my money. I love having no maintenance fees. I love no minimum deposits to open your account. That means that you can deposit $100, $150, $200. You're going to start taking advantage of the 4.3 APY. You can get started right now. Now, on the other hand, SoFi is a little different. You do not have a minimum deposit. Let's just say that that's what I say, but you do have to set up direct deposit. So technically, however much your direct deposit becomes then your minimum deposit, but that's something that they don't tell you, right? Also, when it comes to maintenance fees, one of the things they tell you is, hey, we're gonna give you a free account, but I'm gonna put a little star. I'm gonna put a screenshot on the screen. I'm gonna give you a little star here. And I'm going to tell you that terms and conditions can change anytime. And I can start charging you for your account in one month, two months, three months. So that's something personally that I don't like about SoFi for as good as an organization. It may be for many of its customers. Now let's talk about the account access. How can you access your account? Can you go to the bank? Can you go somewhere? Can you go to the ITM? Well, these two organizations are online only when it comes to the high yield savings accounts. You can also access ATMs if you do choose to open a checking account with Discover. Now, SoFi, you automatically get an ATM debit card. And with that, you can access, you can withdraw money, you can withdraw up to what $1,000 and you can talk to the bank and you can adjust that number if you choose to do so. Now, when it comes to making deposits, both of these organizations allow you to make bank transfers if you have an external account. 
Also, you can do direct deposit, you can do wire transfer, you can do e-check, ATM. Here's a big difference in my book. How long does it take for a withdrawal? How long does your money take to go from discover, if you don't have all your stuff there, to an external organization, maybe a credit union, maybe another bank that holds all your checking accounts? Well, discover takes four to five business days. And I want to say that's a little bit longer than I expected. The standard is between two to three business days. If you're going to take four or five business days, you better be giving me other really good options or features in your bank and your organization. You, you at least better be friendly with your customer service. The organization that I bank with provides same day transfer, which is definitely a perk that I love. Now, when it comes to all in one, when I say all in one, I mean, can you have all your checking and savings in one place? Discover does allow you to do that, and so does SoFi. Now, Discover is an established brand. It was established in 1985. SoFi is somewhat new, I want to say. It stands for social finance. It was established in 2011 by a couple of business students at a Stanford University. Now, when it comes to withdrawal limits per month, how many times can you take out without any penalties? Discover offers you six withdrawals per month, and so does SoFi. And so they like you to just give you a limit so that way you don't take your money out too frequently. Most of these organizations also provide you with humans and customer service. That's something personally that I love. Don't give me chatbots. Don't give me weird robots talking on the phone. Let me talk to somebody when I have problems, when I have questions. And personally, that's something that I love. All right, so now which of these high yield savings accounts is for you? When it comes to Discover, to recap, we have an APY of 4.3%. Also, you get the APY without having to set up direct deposit or without having to set up a checking account. You could also get an account bonus of up to $200. We already talked about the requirements to meet that. You also need no minimum deposit. You don't have monthly fees and you get FDIC insurance up to $250,000. Pretty standard features here when it comes to Discover. Now, when it comes to SoFi, it does provide you right now with a higher APY at 4.5%. You do need direct deposit to qualify for this 4.5% APY. You could get an account bonus of up to $250. And also, it's free until the footnotes, according to the footnotes, until they decide that it's not free. And that's that's a turnoff in my book. But they do provide you with a higher FDIC insurance of up to $2 million by using a network of banks. So if you're looking for the highest possible APY, SoFi is the better choice. I mean, there's no question about that. However, if you're not able to surrender the deposit or are not interested in it, if you're not interested in other SoFi products or services, then Discover is a good alternative. If you want to set up a savings account that you do not have easy access to, because let's be honest, if you're someone that has easy access to your savings account, then you're going to be more likely to take money out more frequently. But with Discover, it almost makes it a little bit more difficult to access your money, which it is a good thing if you cannot help yourself and always take out money. Now, when it comes to SoFi, of course, it gives you all these other options and you can bank with SoFi, do everything with SoFi, check-in savings, loans, anything. And if you want to just have it all in one place, then SoFi may be the better option for you. So with that being said, if you're interested in Discover or SoFi, then click the links in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.